All right, time to make some coffee. At least a miles ahead of yesterday, because it is, hey, all right, day on the grid, it's 8.45 right now. June, the miles ahead of yesterday. Um, I'm making coffee, as you can tell. So, welcome back to Vlogtober, day two, even though I'm posting for the second time today, because uh, I failed day one, all for it, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, today, I'm just gonna talk about the necessity of pre-production. And I wanted it to be like a day in the life because I had a bunch of meetings and stuff like that. But I ended up just taking the time just to be present in those meetings and catch up with the people I was talking to. And I recorded a little bit, so I'll throw it up on screen. But truthfully, I'm just gonna talk about the importance of having those meetings and why it's important to do do that. I'm gonna be rambling because I'm trying to multitask and I eat coffee to focus right now. So you need pre-production because if you just run in blind, which is ooh, what I did for so long in the beginning of my creative journey, you just grab anything and everything. You end up overshooting a lot without pre-production. Um, and sometimes you don't have time to do pre-production, right? Like sometimes it's just not possible. I'm just moving the screen back so I stop looking at it. Um, sometimes you just don't have the time to do pre-production. It's not, pre-production shouldn't be a luxury but when you're in smaller markets and you're on smaller teams and smaller projects sometimes pre-production is a luxury you have to be a videographer instead of a filmmaker that's for me that's one of the main differentiators i started becoming a filmmaker when i started thinking about pre-production more often it's so so nice to be part of a team that understands and pushes pre-production as not just like something that needs to happen, but it's like, it's a non-negotiable. Yeah. And so like, shout out to Jake and Felix and Tay. I need coffee. Don't I, to, to make coffee, you need coffee. For those that don't know, because I've just been talking this whole time and assuming that everyone knows what pre-production is. Pre-production is anything that happens before you start shooting, whether that's site visits, um, meetings with clients to kind of lay out what is gonna happen on the actual shoot day or days, depending on the size of the production. Um, anything from mood boards to sh creating shot lists. And speaking from experience, wish, absolutely wish, I would have had more pre-production time in some of my more recent shoots, um, but it just wasn't something that was possible due to you know different factors, things like, uh, just the amount of time we had for the shoot period, um, the amount of notice you have, and those shoots, which obviously I'm not gonna name, those shoots, I can feel the difference in what I produced versus when I do have pre-production now. Matter of fact, I'm gonna finish making this coffee and then we'll sit down to my desk and finish this conversation. So it's 9.50, I'm already got a start. Got a head start compared to yesterday. This one's also gonna get out super late, but I'm getting it done. So today, like I said, I've been talking about pre-production and the importance of it. And this video shows, cause that first bit, whatever you just saw was atrocious. There was no planning in it whatsoever. And it should have been. And we're gonna pull another thing off this board. Cause today's thing off the board is how opinions will change, including my own, specifically my own. Like I said before, I never did pre-production. And then I joined Seven Self and I met Jake and Felix properly. And the way they do pre-production has just influenced the way I think about it, period. It's no longer a negotiable. If there's no pre-production, I don't want to do the project. It, it's just that important. And I remember a time when I didn't care, I would get up, I would run and gun and shoot, and I still do operate in that way. But now it's much more important for me to just have a plan. Because without a plan, I do things like this. I wrap, this is a planned ramble right now though. So today's tip, today's message, today's story, what today's video is about. Plan the thing. Yesterday was do the thing. Now today's tip, plan the thing. Because when you plan the thing, the thing is better, but you still have to go and do the thing. Don't forget to do the thing. That's arguably way more important. You should just do it. And not to sound like Shia LaBeouf, but we move 
and now I'm about to get into this edit even though I'm looking at a YouTube video because I was decompressing but I'm about to get into this edit and get this out before midnight I will post this one before midnight tonight it's currently 9.51 let's see what time I actually get it posted peace out also another video tomorrow for October and that one is properly planned because that one is um in fact I can show you that one is what's in my camera bag which I promise you is not a cat but <laughs> that's what uh that's what tomorrow's video is about peace out say bye cloud cloud say goodbye okay